guy's car is pretty fucking fast, dude. He's able to do wheelies at like 80 miles per hour. Came back in the officer in the white shirt. He's taking off in a car. If you can assist. Blue car. It's a two door. Just went on the sidewalk. Took out a pole. Unit leaving. Chase him. All right, we got someone on top of the building at the fire station right now. I'm not sure how far we're heading out, uh, but most likely it's not going to be too, too far from where we're at. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, it's this one. What the fuck is he doing? Yeah, I, I see you. What are you doing? Hold on. Any fire units? Can you guys stage in the area? Uh, how do you want to do this? Um, I have no idea. That's a good question. What do you think? I mean, well, we can just hey, go up there and talk to him. You come here. Sure. Or we can at least try. Keep his attention if you can. Hey. I'm gonna look for a way up. Hey. Uh, we're gonna try to find a way up right now. I think hey. this is how he got his attention or got up there in the first place. Yeah. Monkey 24 to uh, two Lincoln 930. I got a way that we could shimmy up there through here. Uh, try and make it Fuck speedy, did he get sir. his bike there? That's amazing. Sir, don't oh. come down that way. Oh. Damn! Shot one. Shit! Well, you know, you could have just yeah, simply walked, right? You didn't have to fly. Yeah, well, I tried to fucking walk and I well, how the fuck did that work? Did it work really well? It worked the way I thought it would. I'm gonna get your shitty ass bike for your shitty ass self. That's rude. Yeah, well, next time don't play on roofs. Oh god, I'm gonna die. How did he get his bike? I don't fucking know. How'd you get up here? It's a brrrr! Oh! 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 Holy shit! Watch out! We got an officer with a crack noggin now. Oh, there's your bike. Right on my head. Right on my head. Hey, we got a free bike. Why? This is why we don't play on roofs, sir. We're gonna be around. Can't get any more stupid than I already am. We don't want to Hey, medicals get in here for you, and then I mean they're not gonna be able to fix oh. your stupidity, but they will be able to fix the blood. This guy did not stop for the red light at all. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and light him up. He's on the motorcycle here. Yeah, he just he just failed to yield for another one. Are you kidding me? All to the right. Yeah, he's taking off. Lucky 24, I got a failure yield on a motorcycle. Northbound Strawberry Avenue, 834. Now we're going to be westbound Adams Album Boulevard, 752. Jumping on the freeway, westbound Olympic Freeway, Interstate 4. Air 51 on the home bit. Okay, Air 51's right ahead. Freeway 410 to 910. Northbound Olympic Freeway 739. We're at speeds over 100. We got a full tank of gas and we're ready to go. It's a Air little bit rainy, which is 20, unfortunate. 20, okay, this uh, air unit's be able to get callouts right now, uh, which means we're going to be able to focus on driving. Just so always a plus in a pursuit. He's doing wheelies and stuff while on the surface streets. In the tunnel. We're going to have to take over tunnel callouts. To this He's uh, just coming out right now. I got him. North. Coming up to the west. Okay, he's going to be turning around right here. This will be a white male. Looks to be in a black shirt with black pants, black helmet. I have one last time. We uh, did a U-turn. We're going back through the tunnel right now. Eastbound on Del Perro Freeway. 702 about to come out the other side. Six, uh, seven one seven Del Perro Freeway, still continuing eastbound. All right, I'm trying to catch up. Just uh, Whew. we uh, southbound the part of Freeway seven thirty four. Air five one, I got him up in the distance. I'm coming in south on I five and merge on two hundred twenty. This guy's car is pretty fucking fast, dude. He's able to do wheelies at like 80 fucking miles per hour. Is the air unit on? Yeah, I hear him above. Hey, he's taking the this fucking we'll rain is so bad right now, dude. We don't often have rain pursuits, but looks like we're having it this time. And I think we have a unit that's with us as well, but it's going to take him a second to catch up. 
Fucking traffic's popping up out of nowhere, dude. Oh, shit is getting real. I'm glad there's only a couple units over here, though, because it would get really, really bad if there was multiple. Damn, he's going so he's fast. Going he's, he's going in ports. He's got to be able to turn. Okay, we got that air unit. That's going to help be the game changer in this thing. He's doing a U-turn. Oh, shit, man. Come on. This fucking rain needs to go. This is fucked. Okay, I don't see him. Right turn, I see him, right I see him, I see him. Our unit still has eyes on him. I don't know why he's sticking to the ports right now. This is even sketchy for him on a motorcycle. Got two times unit chasing subject right now. Not many. Ooh, getting a little slidey because of this fucking rain. And I have a feeling it's just me. That's the sad part. Okay, still eyes on. God damn, I just oh, he's getting ahead, which is concerning me. We're about to lose it. I still got eyes. We're gonna be eight zero nine seven nine seven. Northbound Interstate Two. He's over here. Illusion Fields Freeway Northbound. He's going straight on to Interstate Two. Straight on to Interstate Two. Dude, we are so far behind right now. He stopped. Why would he stop? Where Last is he stopped? He stopped right here, supply. Yeah, don't throw One King 24 behind you, he's right here. If I want to regain ice, what's on the SD2? This guy's fucking. Why would he. Was he thousand. like trying to like. Sneak, sneak by? That wasn't gonna work too well. Fucking, I'm still gonna stick with you, you know that, right? Still gonna fucking stick with them. Does not matter. We gotta alert the public, not let them die. Come on, air unit. If we're gonna lose this guy, we lose air, that's for sure. Went into the tunnel. He's going through tunnel to go out the other side of the parking garage. Still in it, still in it. He's going out the other side. He just came in. Uh, we're going to be right next to... Um, uh, hold on, stand by. I got him. He's on the bridge. Fuck this guy, dude. This is like the most I've been on a subject in a long time from this far. Holy shit. He's going into an alley lane, so we'll seven, six, eight, seven, six, eight. Still got him, I still got him. I'm not on Poplar. He's gonna have a block here. Poplar Street, seven, six, eight, right turn up on. Still on that motherfucker, northbound Popular, seven, six, eight. He's fucked here. This fucking explorer is kicking ass. He's stopping Poplar Street, seven, six, eight. Going into the LS River, we're about to pop out into the uh, water portion. Gonna be eastbound LS River, doing a U-turn, going north now. Back southbound. He's in the tunnel, he's blocked right now, we got him blocked. Off the bike, off the bike, off the fucking bike. Off, off, off. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hands up. Watch cross. I'm in the middle of it, but I'm going to stay near him. Hands up. Uh, Hands up. He's cooperating right now. We got uh, hands up uh, in the yeah, tunnel. Uh, God damn it. Okay, don't move. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull back. I'm going to pull back here. I can't have fun in the city no more, apparently. Okay. Uh, you hear the sound of my voice. I need you to face away and walk backwards to me. I'm gonna go hands on when he gets close to me. There's a lot. More, there's a big difference uh, than fun there, man. That's not fun. You're about to kill yourself. I was having a blast until just now. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going.
Okay. I got him secure. Bye, David that was a fucking pursuit yeah, bye, and a David half, though. Holy shit. It's been a minute since I've stayed primary the whole Please. time. To the point where we actually caught the motherfucker in a very good fucking way, too. Today, dude? Holy you're, shit. You're being... What the fuck okay. are you doing today? Do you know that it's like, this just goes to show you have zero driving skill when I kept up to you in a fucking explore. A mom soccer van. It's because I was fucking wait, with you, man. Wait, Were you so fucking with me? I was letting you keep up. So let me get, I was letting you keep up. You gotta know that, man. Do you know how many times so... I punched it and lost you? And then let out of it? And then look who's still behind you. I know. So, it wasn't so for this fucking this trooper blocking you this road right here. Bike, okay, Scooby-Doo, relax. Able to keep up with you. Okay, let's be honest here. That explore is fucking stupid and fast, though. Eh, yeah. Hey, you get the job done. We love oh, it was great. All right, he stood no chance with that. No. Yeah. Okay. I was getting I on the freeway there on the 5 self. I saw him going flying. Oh, by. he was. That's for sure. Okay, hang tight right there. Watch your head. Right. We're gonna take off here shortly, okay? Flask, five eight eleven forty seven. Is SRU still active, and or are they looking for Ray? Sir. Five Hello. They're not active at this time. How's however, it going? Good yourself. Still currently on lookout for the Good. Some guy stole my car. Okay, why didn't you call nine one one? Because they were busy. Well, nine one one is never busy. Well, I guess this time it was. That's not how 911 works, sir. Well, clearly it does. Because Jesus Christ, it. it's not a... You're you not going to get some justice bum, by walking to the police the, station after someone some steals your car? Off the, some bum <laughs> off the street stole my Camaro. Okay, what does he look like? Uh, Asian guy, black hair, uh, just Five, like ripped clothes and stuff. Two, two Paul, one, one, nine, or Romeo. Tell All right. Um, you yeah. said it was an Asian male? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, what kind of car do you have? Leave it for me, sir. Uh, it's a blue and yellow striped Camaro. Five X eight What's the current situation? All right. How long ago was this? Five eight forty seven. We're like currently transporting at the him to La Mesa. Uh, we have four units in this, I guess, convoy. You can call it. All right. Three Charlie three three eight. I'm going to get you uh, into one of the back rooms really quick, into one of the interrogation rooms. Did they have a gun or anything? Ten eight, no, no, man, he had a knife. He had a knife? Okay. Do you know what the knife looked like? Sorry? Do you know what the knife looked like? Was it a samurai uh, it sword, like, machete? No, no, no. It was like a kitchen knife. Okay, where did this happen? Uh, the VIU. Like the, you know, the park around front. Control 2 Victor 744. What is the VIU? Is the VU? Uh, yeah, the VIU. Yeah, okay. Sorry, 414. Sorry, you're making up your yeah, own so words and shit. It's making yeah, me want to climb on my I'm desk. A, I'm a little... Four, nine, Elgin, oh, good, I'm a little... Nine. Yeah, inebriated. Oh, suspicious person regarding a suspicious vehicle circumstance. Car stated that an individual walked up to him and was offering him a car. Uh, oh, the hold, on. hold on. Wearing a red I got shirt, your car. Uh, regarding a blue oh, Camaro. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Further details. 10-4. Walking 24, dispatch. Further on that, the male, I believe, that just had his car stolen is at the Mission Row Police Department, so that subject might be trying to pawn off his car right now. 1-King-24, I copy. Okay, a uh, 911 call just came out saying someone's trying to give away a car, and they feel sketched out about it, so they call the police. Uh, so they're heading out oh, actually shit. right now. That was actually perfect yeah, timing. So yeah, I'm going to bring you to the back of the police station, okay? Stolen, uh, uh, wait at this door right here. I'll be right back. Was or was it an right, cool. Interesting hey, that timing on that uh, radio call, bro. Honestly, I was thinking these would be fun just to kind of be at the station and like, it's a different, yeah, we're not out on the field, but we don't, we do so much field work that it's just, it's different to switch it up, you know? All right, we're going to have to unlock it. And also how often are these police stations used like often? Okay, it's unlocked if you want to walk through here. All right, cool. Perfect. Hold on I one second. I can't smoke in here, right? Uh, no, you can't. It's going to be a minute before I can, like, question you. So you want to right. walk out this glass door and have a cigarette really quick? All right, sounds good. Um, and then just walk back in. You see here really quick. Uh, you see this corner office right there with that blue door facing me? Yeah. Okay, that's my office. So just walk in there when you get done smoking, okay? All right, cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Do you want to lock the door? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Sorry, these are supposed to be open, but I guess someone's shooting at the police right now, so I'm here alone. I'm not Got trying it. to get shot. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep that open. Uh, let me know when you walk back in so I can lock it, though. Monkey 20, uh, Monkey 24 to 2 Victor 744. The vehicle uh, that was stolen from this guy was a blue and yellow striped Camaro. 2 Victor 744. Red direct. I have that here at 749. I'm going <laughs> to 1015 to 17. I got. Copy that. Good shit, bro. We got his car. Hell yeah, dude. Dispatch. That's what I like to see. Information. So he just attached me to the call. We cleared a, hey, uh, so we got your car. Um, he wasn't hey, able to. It? Yeah, we got your car. So as soon as they clear it from the investigation, I'll have them tow it down here. Uh, and then right, you'll cool. be able to leave with it as long as they're done with their uh, investigation with it. Okay. Okay. Do you okay. need to question me or like? Uh, I, I think I have my information that I need. Uh, the only thing that I need to do is the police report side, which is the fact that he uh, pretty much robbed you at knife All point. Updated. Right. So I just need to officialize it. Right now, it's just on a notepad. So we will have to step into my office. It'll be a lot quicker, though, now that we found the car. Uh, we just right. need to know what happened between you and this, the gentleman that held you at knife point. So uh, right. when you get done, just meet me in my office. I'll be in there. Okay. okay. Free control. Be advised. Yeah, that's uh, a firm. Good stuff, dude. That's that's Thank you, sir. fucking awesome shit right there. And what did this, this guy walk to the police station too? Like really? Like you walk, you walked, and you we still found your car. What are the goddamn odds? All right, let's hope I can sit down. Oh shit, son! Going for mmm shit. That's what I'm talking about. All righty, uh, sit, stand, whatever you want. I'm just gonna have to fill stand, out. Yeah. That's fine. I'm just gonna have to fill out some uh, information here. Just give me one second to pull that up. All right. First and last name. Uh, Joseph Slater. I can give you my ID if you'd like. All right, so J, J O S E P H, and then Slater. Okay, so relatively slow since I'm gonna hand type it. It could be just form, that's fine. But if you want to go ahead and uh, just give me a description or kind of a play-by-play -play of what happened uh, to the point of that subject coming up to you, or the first time that you saw him, and then uh, if it was an elapsed amount of time, what happened when he uh, took the vehicle from you at knife point. Got it. Um, so I saw him at the uh, the VU asking for money. Three Lincoln three six four ten eleven. I drove up to him, got in my car, was about to give him a dollar, and he uh, pulled out a knife and basically took my car key, my car keys. Said he's gonna stab me. Um, so obviously gave him the car guy. keys. Davis Avenue. Um, and then after that, I tried to call nine one, but I guess they were busy for some reason. Two four Lima Tango, Victor eight five four via. Blue four door also at negative thirty two. So did you say you went up to him and uh, you tried to give him a dollar, or he came yeah, up to you? Up okay. I, I went up to you went up to him, and then after that, let me turn down my radio here. I apologize. Uh, after that, he uh, just became aggressive at you. Yeah, he pulled out a knife and basically robbed me. Okay. Did he say anything when he pulled out the knife? Well. Yeah, he basically asked you asked me for my car, whatever I had on on me. But I mean, uh, everything was in my car, so. Eight five three Shelby Avenue, uh, facing Webbound Creek. Give me that gun, Bravado, green and color. I can ride it one time. Requesting one PD thirty two if you got it. Okay, so uh, you're at the VU. Uh, the homeless guy was there asking for money. You went up to him, handed him a dollar. Pulled out a knife. Uh, he then told you to give him his keys to the vehicle. Uh, he then left the VU parking lot. Correct, yeah. Okay, were you outside the whole time? Yeah, it was okay. all outside. Okay, um, I got what I need here, so that's good with that. Um, I'm going to check the status of your vehicle really quick um, and see if we can get it down here, what's going on with that. Uh, if you want to hang out in the front lobby, I will go ahead and get you some information when I get done, okay? Okay. Um, how long is that going to take? Uh, a couple minutes. All right, that's fine. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yep. Monkey24 to 2Victor744. Are you able to get that vehicle towed down to Mission Row PD? 2Victor744, uh, that's a firm. It'll be county tow probably. So it'll be done in another three or four minutes. Happy, thank you. All right, so it looks like it's going to be... Uh, I have the suspect up here. 
did the Vic confirm that he stole it from him so we could just charge him and get him booked away? Uh, copy. The reports I have is a Asian male uh, that had a knife uh, that robbed him at knife point. So if that matches what you have, then confirm. 10-4. Yeah, it matches up pretty good. What Do you have a clothing description on him as well? Uh, the victim said that the clothing was ripped up and just dirty in nature. He doesn't have a specifics. Okay, we got a resolution for this guy. We're going to go ahead and chat with him really quick. Let him know that's to be County Tow that's taking his vehicle down here. Uh, but that'll be about two minutes, and then he can pretty much take off. It's cleared uh, from the investigation. So because of his description, it helped actually get a uh, positive identification on him, which allowed us to actually arrest him. All right. God damn it, get through the door. Okay, so uh, good news, your vehicle's cleared um, with the traffic. investigation, so it'll be down here. It's going to be county tow, so just give it about two minutes, and then they'll just drop it off in the front, and you're free to go, okay? All right, sounds good. Appreciate it. Absolutely. You have a good day. Hopefully things get better. All right, is he going to get arrested? Or He has already been arrested. All right, sounds good. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a good day, sir. Lincoln 220. Awesome. That's a goddamn result. That's the first time me uh, getting out here in the lobby in a hot fucking minute. And <laughs> we got like a good ass fucking little thing there. Perfect radio timing. That was just perfect. God damn it. So we're going to go back to the front desk and pretty much just hang out and see what else I can get. Hello. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Mission Row Police Department. I, I, I kind of need to talk to Zip Wiser real quick. Uh-huh. Yes. Why? Because I was falsely jailed. <laughs> this guy. Uh, okay, why is that, sir? So apparently, okay, I'll tell you the full context of the story here, okay? Uh-huh. All right, so basically, <laughs> this, guy. this guy in the VU, all right, I was just begging for uh, money, stuff like that, because I'm poor and I have no home, and I'm just, uh, uh, what's it called, useless piece of shit, if you want to say it. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's yeah. going to try so to plead guy, his case. I'm in his blue Camaro, all right? So I thought he was going to give me a $5 tip, and then he'll get going, so right? So you know what he did? No, what did he do? So he's like, hey, do you want a car or something? And I was like, uh, I mean, sure, why not? I mean, and he's like, way. okay, yeah, here's the keys. So he gave me the keys, and then I drove for a little bit. And then, uh, what's it called? I pulled over, and then I decided something was a bit sus. So I called my own yeah, one no and shit, I told them about the situation. And they got two officers down to me, two metros. Uh, and then they arrested me. And then apparently they say that uh, the person who gave me the keys called 911 or came to the station, whatever, and reported his car stolen. Which is Correct. Like so you do understand how the law works, correct? One King two four. Hold on one sec. Sorry, no. I'm sorry. I'm getting a radio call. One sec. Go ahead. Oh, ah, shit. They're trying to attach me to calls, even though I'm working at the station right now. Anyways, uh, I'll explain to you why it played out the way it played out. So when the law, how it works is uh, you were in his car, right? Yes. Okay. So you were in possession of his vehicle. You were under the impression that you had the right to use the car. Okay. At some point you felt something was wrong and you just told me that, which is why you pulled over in the first place and then called 911. So when this individual that owns the vehicle also calls 911 and reports his vehicle stolen because of how the law works, because now that that individual has reported this car stolen, now you are in possession of a stolen vehicle. Do you understand? So, so he can frame me for just being in his car? No, he cannot frame you necessarily, but the initial, I mean, we can investigate looking into the situation uh, more. It did happen at the VU, which I would assume uh, hopefully there would be cameras. Um, but we can look into the situation. As for the fact of the matter, you were arrested because you had possession of a stolen vehicle, correct? Yes. Okay, and, uh, so... Due to the how the law is written, that is accurate, is it not? Because he did call in his stolen car. I get that he might be framing you, but how the law and why you were arrested is not necessarily false because you were in possession of a stolen vehicle. But, 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 but. Do you see where I'm going at with this, though? Like it, you, What we did, we did our job correctly because you were in possession of a stolen car. Whether or not that that guy has 
justified a legitimate reason to call the police and warrant his vehicle to be said that it's stolen that's on him and we'll investigate that further that's that's you have my word on that that's fine but you understand that you were in possession of a stolen car but he did say i had a knife to him though uh there was reports of a knife did you have a knife on you during your arrest no i never had any okay um well again you what was your charges that you were arrested for by this police officers I, I think it was Grand Theft Auto and it's something else I could not remember. Uh, were they both vehicle related or was one um, against a person? I'm sorry, repeat the question again? Were they both vehicle related charges? Yes. Okay. So, if that's the case, again, it has nothing to do with the knife because there was no knife most likely found. I wasn't there, so I don't know exactly. Uh, but if there was no knife found, it's hard to corroborate that there was a knife used in it in the first place. Again, uh, looking at the facts of the matter and the facts of the case, you were in possession of a stolen vehicle. Whether or not you stole it or not, you were in possession of it during the time that the officers had an interaction with you, correct? Yes. Okay, which well, would warrant you to be a... Okay, whether you're outside... Or inside, you were... Okay. Tell me why... Did the officers explain to you the reason why they got the 911 call and showed up there in the first place? They, they say apparently I held him a knife point and then... Yeah, I get that. But why did the officers end up showing at the area where you were at? Because I called 911. Okay, they were also there because they got a 911 call saying that an individual was attempting to sell the vehicle that... They had possession of. So where would they have got that report that you would have been attempting to sell the vehicle? I wasn't told that one. That's the that's what I heard go out on the radio. So at this point, if you want or feel as if you were wrongly arrested, which I can assure you, if a court were to look at this, they would probably say no due to the fact that you were in possession of a stolen vehicle and that's why you were arrested. It had nothing to do with knife. I asked you if both of the charges were vehicle related. You said yes, which would indicate to me that there was no charge with the weapon. Uh, so you served time for the stolen vehicle that you were in possession of. So at this point, it seems as if you were justified and arrested for a legitimate reason. Uh, as for why the guy did that, we will look into that. I can give you a contact number, and you can give me your contact number. We can contact you uh, once we look into the situation. Uh, I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone. You said you were homeless, yes? Yes. Okay. So, where do you... Where do you yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Where do you hang out at? Or northbound Roy, or innocent. Uh, I stay at two, I, I'm in the abandoned hotel in San I'm going to be honest with you. If it's going to be hard to locate you, it might be hard to get you information uh, on a resolution of this. You understand that, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I could give you the license plate of the car. And then, no, what is that going to do for me, though? I, you you want me to bolo it. my whole, you want me to tell every one of my officers to be on the lookout for a specific license plate? So we can have a quick chat. Do you know how big of a police resource that would be? Waste of a resource. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, think about I mean, it, man. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, you could talk to one of the homeless. So I'm gonna talk to a detective, okay? I'm gonna talk to a detective, and I'll see what we can do for you. And he'll look into the situation. Like I said, it's gonna be extremely hard to get a hold of you if you don't have a cell phone or something. But I will. I jotted down the information of where you stay at, and we will attempt our best to send a patrol officer out there. If we come up with any information, okay? Zero is no longer in effect. All right, all right. Uh, okay. I need to go back and serve my jail time. I'm not the other okay. Again. All right. Have a good day, sir. Hopefully things get better for you. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else got in there and say they saw a convict look alike at the Mission Row PD entrance. Oh God, there's units passing code three. I'm just gonna let him. Might as well. I swear to God, I'll shoot him, bro. Oh, there's hella units out here. What the fuck? Possibly. Um, I'll let you know once I find them. Well, I'm excited. What do I? I got further starting from local 761 near Mission Road PD. So I just looked at the cameras and I saw the north side. Call 
Mr. Nice Yippee, what are you here. doing in my facility? Oh, I have a subject with black hair. He has what no what are you arms, doing in here? He I I want to and see what's going on. There's nothing going on in here. There's business shit. I need you to get the fuck out. I'm about to arrest you. I want to go to the chief's office. You want to go to the jail? I want to go to the chief's office. That's where you're about to go. I'm, I'm going, going to the chief's office. Don't go upstairs. I can't see you. I'm going to the chief's office. It's turning into a hazard because I can't see you, Mr. Yippee. I'm going into the meeting That's room. not the chief's office. You're going to get tasered. See, this is where I make all my um, adventures. God. No, you're not. Motherfucker. This <laughs> son of a bitch, dude. Holy shit. Wait for me. Don't do it. Stand by it. What? Walkie 24, is this an inmate with just the pants, the orange pants, no shirt? I believe he was already released. It's the suspect that was arrested for the uh, vehicle. I am also chasing a suspect inside Mission Row right now, and he will not stop. Mr. Okay, Yippie, stop fucking running. You're going to get tasered. I got one more left. Yeah, that's it. Go into the fucking idiot. How, come out with your hands up. You're in a room that you can't escape. Come out with your hands up. I got him locked in the reception. Okay. Don't move, Mr. Yippee. Don't move. You're, next, you're going to get beat with the baton. I give up. Tur okay, turn I around. Get on the ground. We're behind the uh, door at the reception. Taser deployed. I'm out of tasers. If someone wants to uh, get back here, I'll let you change cover back here. Stay still, Mr. Yippee. Don't move. I'm not moving. You dispatch. Okay, uh, I'm going to go hands on if you guys oh, want to cover. Through my head. What are you doing? Seven, six, one. Okay, stay still, Mr. Yippee. Who's that, th who's that in front of you? Uh, five, eight, eight, behind eight, you. Eight, eight, eight. Be it man, bald man. Yeah. Who's that behind you? Can you just remain silent, please? Sure. All right. I got him. I appreciate it. We've been doing laps around this bitch for a minute. Why didn't you just let me witness what the LSPD has to offer? There is nothing in here, Mr. Yippee. Literally nothing at all. And need some help here, bud. And uh, fuck my life. Hold on. Can you watch it for like a fraction of a second? I'm working the front desk, so. Hi. How you doing, sir? Welcome to the Mission Row PD. What's up? Yeah, I'd like to, uh, I got him, yeah. He will right. advise the description of the I'd like to so the the of of uh, harassment well, that an officer has conducted. Uh, <laughs> okay. Can I get you... Is it? Are you filing a complaint? Yeah. Okay. Can I get you the form? We have a suspect we just arrested that was tasered in the back room here. So you mind if I just get you a form? Where do I find the chief's Oh, no, man. I'm all good. You're all good. You don't want a form. Thank you. Yeah. Or you do want one. No, I need you to write this down yourself. I'm not going to write it down myself. I have someone I just tasered in the back room. So I'm either going to get you a form or you can come back when a detective is available. Um, Your choice. Option A or B. Flipboard or come back. This is a hard decision. Not, not necessarily. No, actually, it's not. I mean, this is life altering. No, not necessarily. Uh, I'm about to make it for you, which is going to be you're going to have to come back because I'm about to walk away. So, well, my, well, my name is Mr. Felligan, and I like, demand uh, like, okay. um, something that I demand now, speed, but yeah, uh, justice. You got a call for me? Good. Okay. Last chance Negative, to grab the clipboard that I can okay. hand you, uh, or I'm about to walk away. Police car that was uh, unfounded. That All right. I'll get it. Uh, yeah. Negative. It okay. You want the clipboard? Near five, eight, six, All righty. Drive. Uh, near the casino, reporting that there was a cop car with bullet holes in it. Uh, 5 Echo 3 declared it unfounded at this time. Oh, see, we have another taste of deployment back there. All right. Name all the information on there, who the officer was, if you have any, you know, contact information on that, what happened, okay? And then I'll be right back to collect that from you, all right? Just give me one sec. Okay. <sighs> Mr. Yippee, what the fuck? He's an idiot, so I had voted him. No, we don't do that. Now you're going to be charged with another crime. Okay. 
Let's get him down to the cells if someone can assist me to get him down there. I have someone that's filling out a complaint form on someone right now, so. Okay, I appreciate that. It's going to be for uh, trespassing, and then I guess he headbutted one of you, so. Yeah, he cut right in the forehead. Okay, yeah, definitely get him for that then. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, it's going down. You work on Mission Row. Hey, what do you get? What do you know? Put the fire extinguisher down. These two are literally Dominic. Stop sniffing me. I don't know what that even means. So, just what can I do for you, sir? I was here. No. No, you're filling out your form, are you not? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, I will take your form. You need to do something about it? I'm going to check it here when I get done with all the stuff that I have to do. So, I appreciate it. Uh, is your contact information on there? No. No? Because I have warrants. You have warrants. So, how do you expect me to contact you back with this? With anything? I don't know. Just solve the issue and then... Solve the issue. All right. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Can we keep the fire extinguisher? Have a great day. Put the fire extinguisher back. Put the fire extinguisher back. You're going to get arrested if you walk out the door. Simple as that. This guy just dropped... I had to restart my stuff right there. This guy dropped a bike off in the mission row here i don't know what he's it's the guy that we just spoke to we must have pissed him off and then now he left the bike okay i'm back can you give me a second he left this fucking bike here yeah yeah no where the fuck did he go why is there a police car out here with lights on he's gone sick i hear someone walking around i don't think he got far Hey, have you seen a guy around here with like a black long sleeve cloth shirt? Can you do me a favor and just look around the building and see if you see him? He dropped this bicycle off and then took off. I don't know if he was in a car. He was in like a, one of those black tactical shirts like the army guys wear, but it was just all black, had like the elbow patches on it and stuff, you know? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't know where the fuck uh, he went, but I got someone in the lobby, so I appreciate it. Hey, firm, we're coming up behind you. I don't know who left this bike or who it was or where he went. Okay, so what was that, sir? What were you? Well, I'm sorry about um, that. Okay. Oh, no, that's so good. Uh, I was just gonna wonder if I can uh, get a record check on myself. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can get you a record check here. Hold on, let me get back to my office. I'm sorry. Fantastic. All right. Uh, if you don't mind, can you just take that bike and just move it back here behind the door somewhere, or just eat it? Some one of the two. Thank you. Um, All right. Also, uh, can I, uh, sorry, uh, can I get a complaint form as well? Yeah, I could get you that. Let's do your uh, yeah. records check first, okay? Perfect. I'll give you my ID. Hold on. Uh, it's just Mason Hanley. Okay, Mason Henley, and you are 23? Yes. All right, what are we looking for exactly? Do you just want to see what you have? See basically, yeah, yeah. So okay. So it looks like you got four arrests on your record. Uh, one's yeah. for speed limits over 100 miles per hour. Uh, another one's for speed limits over 100 miles per hour. Um, you have one charge here for assault with a deadly weapon. And traffic's... That's not a felony. And then reckless driving. Okay. So, uh, any reason in particular, like for a job, or are you just curious what you yeah, have done? I was, no, I was just gonna go look around at last to see what type of jobs I can get, so I was just thought, you know, might as well get a record check, just to make sure. That's gonna be helpful, but it's gonna be very limited having the felony on your record for assault with a deadly weapon, I can assure you that, so, uh, hopefully you find something there. Yeah, and uh, just the, is the complaint forms gonna do it for Oh yeah, sorry about that. Um, let me grab yeah. that for you. Um, Only because I had a, I got pulled over about uh, 30 minutes ago by okay. a port authority. Uh, apparently it was for excessive honking, even though I only honked once. Like, but 
Okay, uh, I signed the bottom of it. So just want to go ahead and fill out the narrative, what happened, your name, information, contact information, all that, and then hand it back when you get done. Amazing. Okay, I've run thermal. Uh, right, I'll, uh, right yeah, you can take a seat or stand, whatever you want to do. Oh, it's a son of a bitch. It's a son of a bitch that right, brought the bike. Uh, everything's been signed. My name's at the bottom and stuff. There you go. Okay, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Can you get the fuck out of the lobby yeah, if you're gonna... Yeah. Oh, no. He said, oh, no. I asked him to back up from me, but he didn't. Monkey 24, that subject came back in that officer in the white shirt. He's taken off in a car, if you can assist. Blue car, it's a two-door. Just went on the sidewalk, took down a pole. Unit leaving, chase him. This son of a bitch. Fucking motherfucker. Oh. Did he get him or did he crash? Fuck yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he crashed out. I didn't tell him to stop, but uh, he he knew. He crashed. I'm behind you guys. Negative. We're, we're 762 is unrelated. We got him stopped. We're code for Okay, I thought you were attached. What are you doing, man? I don't see him either. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hopped right over that sucker. I don't even I don't even know why he's running. I didn't tell him to stop. I went from outside of my front desk to the started walking out and he just started running. So I started running after him too, got in his car, and then hopped the sidewalk. And you you seen him fucking I don't that's when you saw him, so I don't even know what that was. Shut down the track. This is the so this is the guy that left the bike by the way so yeah uh, I guess he left in the car so that makes sense. Hey, are you awake, sir? Hello. How hot? How fast did he hit the wall? You think? Oh, probably at least forty. Okay, I mean that's not that's not too bad. He did hit it twice, though. Hey, uh, how you doing? Hit, wake up. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, what, what's... Do you want to just tell me what's going on right now? You got into a car accident? No, I know that part. I'm saying the whole part where you started running and decided to drive on the sidewalk for no reason. I was late to a doctor's appointment. Good, good. Fantastic. Doctor's appointment in a river by chance? No, he was trying to take the train to the doctor's appointment. Oh, yeah. oh I see, I see. Did you guys get his injuries yet? I got them. He has a glass all over his face. That was perfect timing, though. Like, honestly, that couldn't have been any better. <laughs> that was great. The cop was leaving. They had just got on duty, and it's been spicy as shit for him already. It's like, that's that's quality shit. Fucking death duty when it actually comes through swinging with some solid shit. Like, I, I love it. Am I getting locked up? <laughs> yes, you're getting locked <laughs> up. Are you? You just... You just uh, recklessly yeah, drove on a sidewalk and then ran a red light, if I'm not mistaken, when you went through the Mission Row intersection. Um, and then you careened into a small wall. And then after that, you careened into another small wall. So, yeah, that is <laughs> enough. That's enough to constitute you going to jail for a little, yeah. For what? For reckless driving. Shit. See, you would have been good if you would have just got in your car, backed out, and took off like normal, drove away. There is nothing I could have done because I never told you to stop. I never, I never. You started running at me. I, no, I started running out from the front desk because as I got out of the door, I heard you say, oh shit. And then I heard you start walking out, which I wanted to already speak to you about the bike. So in retrospect, I never told you to stop at any point, which means you could have just normally drove off. But because you decided to 
pop the curb and then, you know, crash your car twice, that that's enough for us to be able to arrest you right there. So maybe make better choices in the end of the day. Also, try to pay attention to what the police are saying or not saying. It's really, really important. I never told you to stop. I never said anything. I just was walking out into the front because you already pushed a, uh, not a customer, you already pushed a citizen out of the way, shoulder to shoulder, which was already inappropriate. So I was going to go out and speak to you in the lobby. Yeah, I'm a fucking psycho. Don't gotta yeah, well, you twice. don't got to worry. I would have dove through that safety glass, but it's safety glass, so I had to take the door. County tow arrived to get the vehicle. I would say that was a very interesting uh, little part to the video here with the front desk work, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, I wasn't expecting that much action for working the front desk of Mission Row. Uh, but it honestly has kind of gave me a different per perspective on getting in here and not always having to be in a patrol car to have fun or to keep people engaged uh, or to give people a sense of like, you know, how often do you get to walk up and just check your record at a, at a location really quick if that's something that you need or want? I think it worked and it's something different and I'm down for different stuff to kind of just switch it up nonetheless and I get to wear this detective outfit or just this casual fucking outfit crap of shit's looking good as always in it uh, but I think that's a very appropriate place for us to end this video today so you guys gotta let me know if you guys like this for the people that do get to the end of the video um, what you guys like uh, at the end if you guys want to see a little something like this uh, here, and, here and there I'm down for it so nonetheless thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP and we will see you next video